Okay, so we're going to solve a trig equation. In this particular example, we're going to solve cosine of an angle, theta, equals a positive number, 0 0.5. And the method I'm going to use is called the quadrant method. Now in an earlier tutorial, I showed you that when we had a quadrant diagram, okay, this was 0 degrees, we turn anti-clockwise, this is 90 degrees, then 180 degrees, 270, 360 degrees, that all the trig ratios, that sine, cos and tan, were positive for any angle between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. And then from 90 degrees to 180 degrees, only the sine ratio was positive. And from 180 to 270 degrees, the tan ratio was positive. And finally, from 270 to 360 degrees, the cosine ratio, cos for short, okay, was positive. Now in this example, we've got that the cosine is a positive number, 0 0.5. So that means that we're only interested in angles between 0 and 90 degrees and 270 degrees to 360 degrees. That's the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So I rub these out, okay, give us some space. So when you draw a quadrant diagram, you just draw a diagram like this, and the first thing you do is just ask yourself then, where is the trig function, in this case cosine, positive? And it's positive in the first quadrant then, and in the fourth quadrant. And what we do is we mark in two lines, that are exactly the same size angle, equally inclined, in other words, to this horizontal line. You always do that. And you always mark in these two angles that are exactly the same size. You'll find that we're going to use them in this question and other questions. Now, that all that needs to be done is to find out theta in a given range. Now, a common range that we have to solve for in many questions is to solve for theta between 0 and 360 degrees. So, what I'm going to do is show you how to solve cos theta equals 0 0.5 for theta in the range 0 degrees to, let's just do that, 0 degrees to 360 degrees. Okay, so... That would mean that starting from 0 degrees, remember turning anti-clockwise, this is 90, 180, 270, 360, that if I'm looking at this range, I've got to start from here, and I turn to the first blue line and mark in theta. Okay? And by the way, if this wasn't theta, and it was an x or something like that, I'd obviously mark this in as x. Now for the other theta, okay, we start from here again, we turn anti-clockwise until we reach the next blue line. So we go all the way around, okay, turn until we hit the next blue line. I always mark an arrow on because that just indicates I'm starting from here and turning all the way around in this direction. So I mark in theta. Now I've got to work out now the red theta and the green theta. So in order to do that, I get onto my calculator and I work out what the inverse cosine of 0 0.5 is. So therefore theta equals the inverse cosine okay, of 0 0.5. This is a well-known one, you, I say you should know it, but if you don't, your calculator will tell you that theta equals 60 degrees. Now 60 degrees is an acute angle and it's clearly between 0 and 90 degrees, and it corresponds to this red theta. So that's one of the thetas then, one of our solutions between 0 and 360. And if we look at this diagram, that red theta is exactly the same size as this blue angle in here. So I'm going to mark that in as 60 degrees. And because we marked this as a blue angle here, exactly the same size, then this angle in here must be 60 degrees, so I'll mark it in. So if I'm to get the green theta, 
I can see that to go all the way around is 360 degrees but I'm short by 60 degrees so therefore to get this angle it's 360 degrees subtract the 60 degrees here which makes obviously 300 degrees so I mark that in here and we have our two angles for theta in this given range theta equals 60 degrees and 300 degrees now OK, I did this one for this common range, theta is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. But quite often you'll be asked to solve in other ranges. And another common range is to solve for theta between minus 180 degrees and 180 degrees. So we'll just mark that in here. And if that were the case, what we do is we do exactly the same as what we did before, draw the quadrant diagrams, okay, put in naught degrees, next ask yourself where is the cosine positive and we've already realized that that's in the first quadrant and in the fourth quadrant so you draw two lines equally inclined to the horizontal line here marking those two angles as being the same. Now the values of theta that we need OK, start from 0 degrees, always start from 0 degrees, never from over here or anywhere else, just always start from here. Now, turning anticlockwise then takes us around to 90 degrees, 180, 270, 360. But if we are to stay in this range, then I've got to turn from here to here. This is clearly an angle that is less than 180. But if I go all the way round to this one, as we did in the last example, which we saw was 300 degrees, okay, that's going to go over beyond the 180 degrees, and we're not allowed that in this particular range. But what we can do is we can turn in this direction, what we call the negative direction. So turning in this direction okay, gives us a minus angle. So I mark that in as theta. If I turn all the way around here, this would be minus 90, minus 180, minus 270, minus 360. Okay, so turning to here is going to clearly be an angle less than minus 180. Okay, so we use our calculator to work out what theta is. Theta is, to, is worked out by finding the inverse cos then of 0 0.5. Theta equals the inverse cos of 0 0.5. And our calculator says that we get 60 degrees. And as the, we discovered before, that's the red theta. This angle in here was 60 degrees. That meant that this angle in here was 60 degrees, just like we had before. But the green angle, okay, instead of going around this way and being the 300 degrees, turning in this direction is now a turn of minus 60 degrees. So we have theta can also equal minus 60 degrees. Some people like writing this simply as theta equals plus or minus 60 degrees. Okay so I hope you've understood that and you should now be able to apply this method for cosine of theta equals a positive value, okay, in at least these two given ranges.